consommer okay. C'est bon pour tout le monde okay. uh, My name is uh, Amadou Dampoulou Baba, I'm from Cameroon. I'm the CEO of uh, Imperial Food Company based in Douala, which will be doing uh, soy fortified and vitamin enriched food for the food market and for the mass market in Africa. We'll be making two products, fortified instant noodles and fortified snack noodles. Imperial Foods is a replication of a project that was done in Asia with USDA. My name is Liliana Batchelder. I, I work for the Foreign Agricultural Service at the United States Department of Agriculture. During a visit to Korea, the country director asked me, there are so many hungry people in Africa, why don't we have noodles there? Noodles fill the belly. Doing the research I found there wasn't noodles to be found anywhere. And so we conducted in 2004 a feasibility study in Senegal testing uh, noodles. In villages, going to universities, hospitals, and we found 100% acceptance of it. People loved the product. They loved eating it. It was fun. It was delicious. We looked at the IRD program that's using our food aid in Indonesia. We have market development programs around the world with groups such as the soybean, the wheat commodity groups, and that's how I, I got to meet WISH, was through the North American Millers Association. Imperial Foods was uh, created in 2006. U.S. Wheat Associates came here to visit flour millers, and then he told me about a USDA project to make uh, fortified instant noodles. Then he put me in contact with Liliana. Uh, Liliana put me in contact with IRD. And this is how it all started. I got all the infos and what they did in Asia, Cambodia, uh, Indonesia. They gave me technical assistance. They put me in contact with WISH. They did so much, I cannot say. USDA has been excellent to me. I met with WISH officially in 2009. We signed a memorandum and they donated soy flour to Imperial Foods Company. This snack noodles has that um, soy flour from CHS. So CHS is our supplier of defatted soy and we are very satisfied with the product because it's been here for a long time and it's still uh, doing its job perfectly. WISH is there for us, they're assisting us in every way that they can. This uh, particular snack noodle was developed with the assistance of WISH. He used this pasta maker to hand make snack noodle and we got a very very good response from the market. Initially, what we wanted to push was the instant noodles. Now we are going to make these soy fortified uh, snack noodles into our number one product. And uh, this is the, the barbecue. We were introduced to CHS by which It's soy which is grown by U.S. farmers and then it's processed by CHS. The role of the U.S. farmers through which is not only to sell the soy flour, but the, the, the big emphasis on nutrition the protein content, how we can improve the lives of the kids from zero to five years, school feeding. The one thing about CHS is that we're farmer owned, it's a cooperative, and anything that WISH can do to promote the soy flour, our soybean meal, our soybean oil, is a help to our farmers. CHS has been involved with the WISH program for several years. What they've done with Imperial Food is really one of the best promotions of the soy flour that we've seen. The snack food includes our deep added soy flour. It has 50% protein, very little fat. It has some fiber and has some carbs. We've sort of missed breakfast <laughs> some of these days, and so we've been snacking on the crackets, and it sort of takes care of the hunger pains that you have. It's easy, and they're lightweight, transportable, we see a lot of uh, possibilities with the soy and with CHS as our supplier because they have the full range. Now I know that on the soy side, the, the potentials are just enormous. This is just the beginning for me on the soy side and I'm sure there will be a lot of things that will develop through WISH and uh, the American Soybean Association. We have two target markets. The number one market is the humanitarian market, food aid, school feeding and uh, food emergencies, people living with HIV AIDS. They should choose to use our product because first of all, we are close to the areas of disasters. We have a quick uh, reaction time if they need uh, an order. And also, we have the right product. We have the right formulations. We have the right minerals and vitamins. And the product is, is uh, it's affordable. It can be airlifted in Niger. It's really very close. When we were watching his production the other day, his reaction time, if he needed to make a lot of this product, would be very fast. The other target is the mass market. That's the regular customer. We are currently working on introducing the Cameroonian market, talking to our customers in the sub-region and also distributing there slowly. 
and right now we're already distributing in all the supermarkets and we are preparing a marketing push to create visibility and awareness. The 10-year plan is about creating the snack noodle market in Cameroon and in the sub-region and then dominating that market. Keep expanding all the time, building new warehouses for the raw materials, for the finished products. We really want to be the biggest food company outside the beer sector. The snack food is such an exciting product. It would be kind of fun if we could bring this product to the States and be able to enjoy it there because there's nothing there like it. I would love to introduce this product into the U.S. market. <laughs> That's a huge market. The mission of the Foreign Agricultural Service is to expand um, the exports of U.S. agricultural commodities and to increase food security around the world. And here was this opportunity to do both. It was going to increase the nutrition of people in Africa and especially with the soy, with the with the vitamins and help these people live longer, healthier lives. And we can also help Americans. Everyone would win. Everyone would come ahead if we just work together. Imperial Foods is like we don't exist without the Americans because we're using uh, U.S. wheat flour, we're using soy flour, we're using U.S. technical assistance. Now we need orders. <laughs>